In between everything else that I'm doing, I decided to make a quick pit stop at the Goodwill bins uh, to give you guys a thrift haul video today. By now, you guys know that I went thrifting. So I am gonna just dive right in and show you all the goodies that I found today. I started off going to the Goodwill bins. Uh, it started off a bit slow. I checked out and put everything in my car, came back in, and then I found some more goodies. Uh, I just felt like it wasn't as good as it normally is. Uh, normally they're bringing cart after cart after cart. They were not doing that. And um, I was near another Goodwill, uh, so I hit that one up and I found some more goodies there. So I'm gonna show you what I all found. First thing I saw when I entered the bins is I found this old lunchbox. And you guys, you know how much I love these little lunchboxes. Um, they remind me of my grandpa. Uh, he always carried one of these and I could not pass it up. This was so cool. I do not know what it is. It's like a, a hanging wall, like you hang it on the wall. Um, it just looks so neat and there's a little pocket in there. I am definitely going to use this in an upcycle. I think it's so stinking cute. Uh, what do you guys think? You tell me, um, and maybe you know what it is used for. I just think it's like a little piece of artwork. So I found this book and it really, caught my eye because I have been feeling like I want to do more outdoor decorating. Um, one thing I really want to start focusing more on is reclaiming portions of my yard. I am a gardener and I'm a master gardener and I've really let that side of my life like kind of slide um, as my business has grown and become a whole lot busier. So one thing I'm gonna try to slide back into my schedule um, is my yard. Um, I just wanna reclaim it. So I look through this and I got some really good ideas. Um, so I'm gonna be thrifting for some really fun ideas that I saw in this book. With that said, I love Suns and oh, this one I think is going to get a bit of a makeover. You can't even see his beautiful face and I love putting them in my outdoor decor. So this one is for me and I am going to be transforming it for something like a, a portion of my yard. I found a whole box full of vintage cookie cutters. Uh, I love it when they have these little knobs on them. There's a couple green ones, a couple red ones. Um, but, oh, look at that one. That one's really cool. Um, yeah, just so, oh, and this one's like a little witch. So there's all different ones in here. And I know that um, I have 
been slacking on the whatnot <laughs> because I have been ill. I was getting ready for the, the maker's box. I was out of town and now I'm gonna be out of town again. But when I get back, I am gonna start doing my whatnot Wednesdays again and these can be found on that. I love, 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 love rolling pins. And this one is so fun and old looking. It looks like it has hot glue on here. Made me think, um, I think this is hot glue, but it made me believe that this must have been attached to something. And somebody had $2 on it. I think my best find of the day was this piece of pottery, which I think I'm gonna keep for myself. It is a haul. Um, and there's the marking on the bottom, but it's in mint condition and I, I love it. So it will probably be added to my collection. Love pottery, you guys. There is a marking on the bottom. I'm not sure what pottery company it is, um, but I love putting um, real unique pieces like this in my booth. I love these old calendars. This one does have one wobbly foot. Um, I think what I'm going to do is try to push this back out and it probably, it might strengthen it up, but it's the star one. So I've heard good things about finding ones with stars. I grabbed this and honestly, I grabbed, <laughs> this ended up in my car by accident. I grabbed the top. I grabbed the bottom. I didn't even look at it. It was at the very bottom of my cart. And I don't even know what it is, to be honest. But I am going to embrace this and I am going to create something. I'm going to decorate this box up. It probably cost me way more than what it actually is worth. So um, we're gonna take it and we are going to do something really fun. So be watching for this in an upcoming video. Uh, the last case I found like this, I did something really, really fun with it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with this one. So this is like an old binocular case. I think it's so stinking cute. Um, it's got like this really beautiful turquoise on the inside. So we will see what I do with it um, in an upcoming video. This little wood crate, I probably paid pennies for it and I think it would be perfect. Um, it has like some holes in it. So I have some really small glasses um, or like votive. So I'm thinking something like that. So we'll see what this actually, um, what becomes of this, but I thought it'd be kind of fun for an upcycle. Look at all these tiny little eggs. Uh, they're all like painted. So, so cute. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I saw them and I thought they all are, have little tiny strings and they're all hand painted. So, um, I'm going to do something fun with them. I saw this strap and I thought this was really cool. When I was at a retreat recently or at my convention that I was at, they were giving these away um, to all the VIPs. I saw this and I thought these are real, this is a really fun color and it would be fun um, to replace it with the handle on one of my, my bags with this. Uh, this does say made in the USA. I love this print. I think it's so fun. It reminds me of like Paris or somewhere really like over in Europe. Uh, so I think I'm going to not touch anything with the print and then just fix up the frame. Uh, looks like somebody did put a staple in the, on the back, but um, we're gonna embrace the imperfections and we are gonna fix it up. This ended up in my cart again <laughs> at the very bottom. I was tossing stuff in. Um, I think there was supposed to be possibly like another duck on this side, but the nose is a little weird too. But I thought, you know what? I am going to possibly do something with the outline of it. So um, I might use it as more of a template um, and create something 
some type of home decor with it uh, or you know a DIY so we'll see um, when things end up in my cart by accident I still have to come up with something for it found this I think it's very very cool I I love it it has a a little hole so you can hang it you can put it in your kitchen decor um, so I was very excited about enamelware I love enamelware you guys always go over really well in my booth so this one is really fun I thought this would be perfect to have in your kitchen decor so either in my booth or on a whatnot sale I was waiting for the next set of bins to come out and I look down and I'm like, oh, it's a magnifying glass. And I'm like, I always am like, and I think it was supposed to have a light too, but I, and there's probably like a spot, this is probably for, yeah, it has batteries. Um, I, don't, I mean, this is gonna be so good uh, because you know, I'm blind um, or I feel like I'm blind, but like to see markings and stuff. So this is gonna be going into my purse um, that way I can like look at stuff. So fun to create. Remember last, okay, so I should start over. Last year I took vintage blocks and I created different um, words together like this. And this year I think I'm gonna do something with these. I'm gonna upcycle it um, and do something fun with these existing blocks that I found. Was this little frame. And you guys, I just love frames. And this one is so cute. It's so vintagey. Uh, so I'm gonna see. I, I'm gonna. I love the gold already. So we're gonna embrace um, that. It. You know. I think it's broke, but I love it. And these are a bunch of apples. Uh, so I think I'm going to do um, like an upcycle on these as well. This is for me and it's this big like over the door type of um, hanger and I walked by this and I saw it and I'm like that's kind of cool and then I left it and then I walked by it again and I'm like oh, this is really neat. Um, I could do something really fun with it. And then I'm like, no, I don't need it. But then I saw that outdoor decor, decorating, garden thing, book, and it reminded me of, I wish I remembered the girl's name on Instagram. She's got this really cool, like it's, she does not use it as a greenhouse, but she decorates it the whole, like, it's like all windows and she built it, her and her husband did. So it's very similar to my greenhouse. And I'm like, oh, I could do something really cool for the holidays inside, just like she does. And she goes big. And I'm like, that would be really, really neat. So guess what? I bought it. <laughs> it was at the bins. I just think it'd be really cool above like the door, the window. So um i'm gonna and you know what i didn't pay very much for it so um but yeah so that's my vision for this i love finding old train cases and this one is so cool um the handles work both of them work really well or the, the handles the the locking mechanism so we are going to do a fun upcycle on this. This is a, a paddle and it looks like it had some kind of something on it and there must have been something like glued on it. Oh, actually look, do you know what was glued on it? <laughs> I can see it with the light hitting it. It was a, it was a loon. Why can't, oh, now I see it, but before I couldn't. Is that not weird? Like right like there. I can see it. So there was a loon on here. <laughs> I'm like there was something glued here. Well, yeah, a loon. Um, long story short, I'm going to take this and I'm going to do something really, really fun with it, but it's not going to be a loon. It is going to be a really piece of fun decor um, that I actually saw in a magazine. Um, so I'm going to be doing a little painting and make it look all fun. So I might be keeping it for myself if it turns out how I envision it. With that whole outdoor decor, um, I, I'm going to try to remove these fake 
uh, I don't know if I'm gonna, oh yeah, I should be able to. There's a screw on the bottom of each one, but I am going to remove those. And I think this would be really cool to have um, like hanging from one of my trees. So I grabbed this really cool, like wrought iron chandelier. Another item that I grabbed as I was picking when a new cart came out. Um, we're going to have to come up with something for this, you guys, because I should not have grabbed it. But uh, I saw like Rusty and I just grabbed it and I threw it in there. And there was, like I said, a couple items that went to the very bottom of my cart. And I was at that point like done. And so I should have gone through it one more time and I didn't. So <laughs> long story short, what should I do with this guys? Um, it looks like it stands, but it's got a pretty, it's just very fun. I don't even know what it's for. So maybe I'm assuming something with a wine bottle because it has grapes on here along with grape leaves so uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do with this um I do it looks kind of fun but I don't know let me know I'm gonna keep on showing you what I got at the bins and then I'm gonna show you what I got at the regular Goodwill so um a funny story uh this is eight pound test I it's kind of, I, I did not put this in my cart, so I do not know how this ended up in my cart, but I do use this for projects. So um, actually I just go down into my husband's uh, line and he probably was, would be like, what, you're taking my line? But now I have my own because somehow this all ended up in my cart. So I was kind of excited about it. I found this actually for my daughter. So this has been a real challenging year for her because uh, she actually was really good friends with this group of um, this all these gals and actually a couple guys. They were it was just her friend group, and they all went off to college. And so this is all about like friend. Um, and best friends, uh, the true friends are never apart, uh, maybe in distance, but never in heart. Um, but yeah, so I saw this and I'm like, she could maybe make something with it. So these are just, it was like a cool set of stamps. And, um, but I thought this one was really fun with her friends. So um, I just, I feel really bad for her because again, I just remember a year ago, she, I remember going up in her room and she was like crying and I'm like, why are you crying? And she told me like, I'm so sad because in a year, you know, they're all going to be going away to college and I'm going to still be in high school. And I'm like, Caitlin, it's a year. And then now I'm like, oh my gosh, a year went that fast. And I don't, I just, so it's just, you know, school starting, um, to, actually tomorrow and well I'm taping this so on Tuesday school is starting and I'm taping this on Monday actually so I I'm just thinking like it's just gonna be new and different for her so. you guys know how much I love birds oh my this is so cool and it is like signed and numbered um and it's finches you guys it's so cool I love it um, so I grabbed this it was in the bins but it is really really neat since I am on this whole outdoor de decor kick I saw this really cool watering can um, I don't know what was here but that's okay and I think it will be perfect for the summertime and planting up flowers in here and just adding it to my outdoor decor. I found some enamel wear um, plates. And so I have an idea what to do with these. Uh, I thought they were kind of fun. This one is a little bit more stained, but that's okay. So we'll have to um, watch for one of my up and coming thrift to treasure videos and what I do with these.
I love my little coffee pots and I saw this one, uh, super cute. It's a tiny one. Um, I love the little black handle. So uh, again, we're gonna do something fun with this. This is actually an old, um, kiss, like it holds something like, but I put in here <laughs> all kinds of cue ball or um, pool balls. And so um, I actually am gonna take these and do something with it in my home. Um, I did not find all of them, but I found the eight ball. And so anyways, uh, I put those in here, but this, oh, it says a cartridge tape case. So this baby, I loved. I love the size of it. Um, I like how it has a bit of like war. Um, it's worn, distressed, and I have a vision for it for an upcoming um, Thrift to Treasure video. So uh, that is what I found too. I could not, I like literally was walking and I saw this and I'm like, this is so stinking cool. So that is also going to be on a upcoming thrift to treasure. They brought out a whole bunch of how they do it is they bring out um, uh, home decor goods on one side, clothes on the other. Um, and I typically don't even look in the clothes. But as I was finishing up my round of looking at the home decor, I noticed these and I went running over there and I grabbed them. Okay, so the this is so cool. I have seen people make um, Christmas trees with them. I have seen people make pumpkins with them. And uh, yeah, so I grabbed this it's huge. I think it must be like a king. So, um, and I thought the fringe was really cool as well. So I grabbed that. So I'm gonna probably, I don't know. It's all gonna get cut up. Then there was this one as well. Again, I have seen um, a bunch of people make pumpkins and trees with these. So I thought that was perfect. And then this one. So again, I'm just going to be chopping these all up. They just... Yeah, th this is actually, there's some stains on this, but I don't even, honestly, I don't even care because I think it's going to be just perfect. These are probably like king size. So I was so excited um, when I found these because I can do, I can make a lot of trees and I can make a lot of pumpkins with these. You know, in all my free time. <laughs> all right, so that is what I ended up getting at the bins. Um, then I went over to the regular Goodwill and then I found these items. This is so cool. I. I'm not even sure like what its true intentions were, but I love this backing piece and I just love the rusty old look of it. And it was $5.99 and they just were putting it out. Now the rolling pin, this one was $2.99. It's so cool. I love the handles, how big they are. And you guys know how I feel about rolling pins. I can't pass them up. Although I have been passing up ones that I know are like the cheapies from um, Walmart. So I grabbed this one though. I love galvanized containers. Um, this one was so fun. And it was, actually I got this at the bins. <laughs> I was like, did I get it? No, no I didn't. I did pay $1.99 for it. So um, I was like, did I get it at the bins? See, I'm getting, it's getting mixed up guys. But yes, a buck 99 for this. This was a dollar 99 as well. It does have a little dent, but I thought it was really fun looking. Um, and it says farmer's market on it. This was 3.99 and I believe, now I could be wrong. This reminded me of corn. 
<laughs> I don't know the tabs. I'm not really sure, but it is. it has F3211 on the bottom. Um, it's a salt and pepper shaker, and I did pay $3.99 for them. In the comments, tell me what you guys think about this. I thought about it being corn, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> what do you guys think? I was on a major um, <laughs> yard kick today. I saw this and I'm like, a birdhouse and a planter. I didn't know, I saw it and I just liked it and it was $1.99, so I grabbed it. I love wall pockets. Uh, whenever I see them, I'm always grabbing them. I actually had one similar to this that I sold in my booth. I uh, only paid a buck 99 for it and uh, it is so fun. So these go over really well here. Um, I think that you can basically put anything in here. Greenery, um, you can use it for basically anything. All right, so this looks like it was false graph. It was $1.99 as well. Um, I thought this blue was really fun and it was in no chips, um, but it looks like a vintage false graph. With the holidays coming, I had to get a Santa sleigh. I mean, that one is super fun. This I did pay $3.99 for. So this was $5.99. It was a blue tig. Um, and so I ended up getting it for $3 with the uh, tray holder. I thought that was kind of fun. And the last thing that I ended up getting was this set of three dishes. And it was $8 for all three. Um, and they have lids that come off. Um, I'm not entirely sure where they are from, but they are gonna get an upcycle and I'm so excited. It's gonna be like a holiday upcycle for these. So you guys, that was my thrift haul. So I have items for my upcoming whatnot sales. I have items for some thrift to treasures and I'm just so excited to really start diving into all things. I don't know, I'm feeling really holiday-ish. I'm kind of skipping over the whole fall thing. I don't know, I feel like, I don't know why like certain things have been really inspiring me for the holidays. Um, I probably should jump into some things fall though because we haven't even hit it yet. Maybe once it really starts cooling down, I think I've been given a lot of holiday stuff recently that it made me, it's making me feel more holiday-ish. So anywho, um, I think too, finding these like quilts and just thinking about last year and how I wish I had some of those to either make, you know, like pumpkins or trees. Um, so I'm really excited about sewing some of those up. But, all right guys, that was the day. I had a ton of fun. It was exactly what I needed. Um, I am going to finish taping this, edit it, upload it for Friday. So this is my Friday video that you guys are getting. Um, but I will actually be up north yet because I am doing my one last hurrah up north. Um, I'm heading up on, I actually headed up on Tuesday and I'll be back Monday. So for Monday's video, you guys, I'm really excited. Um, at this point, I'm sure, I'm hoping that Royce has made the announcement that she is doing a new release. So my video for Monday will be the new release. Um, I'm gonna be featuring some of the new papers from Royce and I'm super excited for all of them. Uh, you guys know how much I love Royce and I love Royce Cycled uh, Decoupage Papers and I just love her style and everything she comes up with. So I was so excited when I did get my hands on the new papers. They will be ready for you guys um, to ship out uh, right away. Um, so that will be Monday's video. Um, and you guys, if you haven't heard yet, my membership group is officially open. 
and um, yeah, definitely if you are interested in it, um, I will have all the information, like email me and I can get you all the information. Uh, it is going to be open for a full two weeks. So I opened it up on September 3rd and it will be open for two full weeks. So um, I'm excited to welcome new members. I only open our membership group up twice a year. So it will be open up uh, this month in September and then not for another six months. Uh, so much going on though, you guys. And I just wanna thank everyone, you know, for supporting my small business and for watching my videos. Um, just a video watch, you know, like helps the algorithm pick up my videos and push it out to other people. Um, and just for other people can find me. I just appreciate all your love and support, you guys. Uh, but yes, I will see you on Monday and you have yourselves a great weekend. Bye.